Wally with a big knife. <laughs> be afraid, guys. Be very afraid. This is the Condor Bushcraft Parang. Check it out. Check that out. That is a beast. Okay? Stay tuned. Very effective with that sort of work, guys. Very, very effective. But how good is it as at bushcraft? Now, it is called the bushcraft parang, right? So, let's do some bushcraft with it and see how it gets on. It is a little bit uh, <laughs> addictive. Okay, let's talk about it. So it is called the Condor Bushcraft Parang. They're saying it's a cross between a traditional parang and a golock. It's 1095 carbon steel. It's 4.5 millimeters thick and it has a 13 inch blade. Okay, uh, and it has a ballistic nylon sheath. Okay, now for me, a nylon sheath is going to make more sense because these are primarily designed to be used in the jungle. Okay. Now, the thing about it, when any time I have been in the jungle and I have been using a machete or a parang, gen generally machetes, guys. You know, any jungle I've been in where there's locals, they're using some sort of machete, okay? Uh, and they're generally thinner than this, okay? So, so what I want to see is, how does it handle bushcraft stuff that I would use a blade for? You know, like... Splitting wood, battening wood, striking a ferro rod, okay, making feather sticks and stuff like that. Uh, it it do, it does have a decent handle, decent handle. Probably could do with being trimmed off a little bit. There's a couple of couple of little raised ridges and stuff. And guys, this is not new. This is this is Steve owns this, and Steve has been using this quite a bit. Uh, it does it does have a, a sort of a choil here, so you can choke up on it, okay. So you can see here guys, just some raised lines where the moulding has been and you can see we have a choil here where you can choke up on it guys, okay? It's a fairly beefy piece of steel, but it feels okay to swing, do you know? It's grand. Guys, I'm going to get some, uh, I'll grab a piece of wood and, and uh, we'll, we, we'll get the work on it. I wonder what it's like at chopping. Got a nice little piece of wood here. Probably not the freshest. Definitely bites deep, guys. Definitely. Oh, broke my whole wall. Broke my whole wall. I think that is satisfactory. Let's get this up. Let's try it like that. That'll do. That's good enough. So, guys, for me, the whole point of having a big blade like this is, Bruno, you are not getting this. You go away now. Sit is that it replaces the need for an axe, okay? So if you are somebody who uses a knife and an axe, this is sort of the two tools in one. Guys, it is just starting to, no, no, no. It's just starting to lash rain, okay? So stop it. Guys, it's just starting to lash. Let me, let me, let me fly through this and then I'll, I'll put the camera away. Okay, guys, look, so the whole idea is that it is, you can use this as an axe and you can use it as a knife as well, all right? So. 
in that, you know, in that frame of thought, I should be able to split something like this with this. Stop, Bruno, stay. Now I have to take it off. <laughs> There you go. Now it's split. And that was quite easy. Now guys, before you get into the comments and give me loads of grief about not doing it properly, I know I didn't do it properly. Let's try it this way. Stay Bruno. No problem to it. This is naughty. Guys, look. This is this is very naughty. Okay, so as you can see, so let's see if we can remove that knot and get a wee bit more uh, fine work done with it. But first of all, I'm going to take you guys out of the rain. I'm going to steal Bruno's stick. Now, battening should be no problem for this. The only issue I could see with it is that it is quite sharp on the back. That is not working. No. This is not wood that I would normally feather stick, so maybe I should find something a wee bit more straight grained and more in line in, in what I would normally be using. Do you see him right there? Can you see his nose? Do you want this? Do you want this? <laughs> Give it a shot. Let me see if I can figure this out. You know, the shape does lend itself to maybe a bit of skinning, maybe a bit of draw knife work and stuff like that. So, you know, this is the shape of a big knife that I prefer. Okay, I'm just um, struggling for a work surface here. I know what I'll do. Bring in another stump. Okay. So by bringing in the other stump, right, which has a bit of a lip on it, what I can do is that means that I have somewhere to hold this while I'm using two hands to feather this. First I'll try it with one hand. Let's try two hands. Not bad guys, not bad at all. I would say that with a little bit of practice, you can make all sorts of feathers with this. Now, let's see if it shows a spark. Bark, bark. Here, you can have it, go on. Just your standard Bushcraft store, uh, ferro rod. That throws really good sparks, guys.
really good sports guys the condor bushcraft parang machete zombie head lopper offer whatever you want to call it guys does it bushcraft yes it does guys it does uh, it is it it's a decent tool. Now, I have not played with it a lot. This is basically me just taking it into the woods for the first time and getting some thoughts down on, on camera. Uh, I wanted to see if it is something that you can just pick up and, 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 you know, and just go at it. And guys, it definitely works. It definitely works. It is a capable machine. Uh, only a little bit of chopping with it, but I didn't have any hot spots or anything like that. I did think that there would be an issue with that little seam there where, where they have the uh, they have uh, you know molded this handle onto the steel guys in regards to to where this ha where this goes underneath i don't know but i'll i'll research that and i'll put it down below in the, in the links or sorry in the description guys this is a cool a cool tool this is one of these things that if you have it and you're in a situation where you need that type of tool the condor guys condor make good stuff and it's as simple as that guys look Thanks for watching. Stay frosty. From me and Bruno, guys, we like Condor. They make some kick ass tools. Stay frosty. Frosty stuff.